हेलो या यू आर ऑडिबल एम आई ऑडिबल ओके टन कुमार ओके यस तो माय नेम इज सचिन कुमार सक्सेना आई डिड माय बीटेक फ्रॉम देहरादून एंड देन डिड माय एमटेक फ्रॉम देहरादून सेल्फ एंड देन आई जॉइन इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज टू परसू माय टीचिंग करियर and then i started teaching data science machine learning there for different five engineering college in last 12 years and then finally after 12 years i joined in an it company recently i have joined an it company as a senior software engineer and i am having responsibility of senior data scientist as well so there my responsibilities are like uh, natural language processing and uh, aws cloud and performing python scripting and scraping the data from the different different resources and so on so uh, recently they have worked upon uh, some image annotation image, image segmentation uh, projects i am working upon so having experience in statistics tableau power bi and machine learning data science and so on and learning all these technology because they are so vast yes uh, as, as of now i am having uh, very few experience this month only i have joined this company uh, it's a map and filter and uh, list comprehensive okay so uh, yes so i had experience in uh, online uh, tutoring company and do not and codingal so codingal is bangalore based company i taught there for 5 months and due to my timings in the full time engineering college i just left there and i do not i had to recording the my sessions also so would you enable share host disable attendance screen share yes sure is this uh, visible to you sure so for this i am going to uh, open my collab collab is uh, the platform given by the google itself and we are going to implement all these codes we can upload the file from the existing or the local pc from here by choosing file or we can use the new notebook in order to run our python code so python scripting is done at several platform but as of now we are using the uh, collab as the intermediate platform so we we are going to learn over here list comprehensive map and filter so so we know that python is also supporting definition like uh, suppose we have definition in the python suppose sum and then we have some variable x comma y these are the variables not the constant one then suppose we want to perform sub, some uh, addition in between these two variables we will have to add these values x plus y and it will return these particular values so this will take time because this is the first code we are going to run on this uh, platform and this is the online web based portal we can have offline portal also platforms and uh, we are going to convert all these code into the local pc but it's going to connect to the server this is the how it's taking time and on the right hand side we can see these ram disk it's going to utilize over here 
but once we have submitted this code so obviously we can add two comma four so you will have to assign some variable here and then i'm going to print that code that's a six so but we know the sum is already in uh, some keyword is already assigned to the uh, python scripting so we are supposed to take some another variable like some w and some underscore w so i'm going to run this again and going to run this again so these this is user defined function which means we are having user defined function okay next is why i'm explaining this function i'll explain again but before that i'm moving to the list something so we are having list over here and then we are going to comprehend this so what's the list name this is list one and then we are using a square bracket in order to ingredient and in order to in, uh, means enclose all our whole numbers we are going to include inside the square bracket so in the python we have brackets role very important role of these brackets if this is round bracket like this so this denotes either uh, 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 either uh, uh, something like uh, uh, set or an either data type or function sometimes if we are using this curly bracket this denotes the dictionary and so on but here we are using the list so we are having the list function and we are not going to uh, means uh, encompass any any other thing okay so then we are going to another use another number and i am going to use x for x in range with or i'll use for x in range in list 1 right so if i use plus 2 right and then print s here so what's the functionality here we are going to add all these numbers by two we are going to add two number integer number in in each in each element if this is not done here this this is called list um, comprehensive why list list comprehensive because sometimes we are having very long code why we are having long code because if you, you, we want to add all these numbers we will have to use this function this is the only reason i have i had already explained this definition over here by manually addition we will have to we had to use this uh, function method but here in the list comprehensive in the single line of code we are adding some number if we want to multiply any number we just change the number and just hit uh, means run this command again and we can see 3 multiplied by 2 4 multiplied by 2 5 multiplied by 2 every element is just multiplied by 2 itself so this is the list complements so what are the applications of this list complements so number one this is code redundancy obviously we are having code redundancy our code is uh, is is shorter now and as a software developer we need code as early as possible the code lines as this is smaller inside the uh, software then we having most of the platform like lead code like we are having hacker rank so they are going to use these uh, these advanced uh, uh, means technologies like uh, advanced methods like uh, uh, mapping filtering redundancy and this list comprehensive so they are using this kind of uh, uh, means functions obviously one will say i don't want to use this list comprehensive i want to use the conventional method of definition so the answer is how would you understand these code those are written in the lead code hacker rank or geek for geeks so how would you solve these oh, okay if you have some another software written software written by some another coder written coder 
written by some another coder how would you how would we understand that so this is done by uh, for that you will have to know the the list comprehensive method okay the another way we can use the list comprehensive on the string suppose i am having movies name like gangs of wasipur any doubt as of now sachin am i audible okay so if we are having movie name in a particular list and all these elements are in the format of a string itself and then we are having another movie name let's say g and it's again having let's uh, avatar i'm having and then another movie name like jal or another movie name like it's having like uh, i'm going to run this code so these are movie names uh, or you can have games uh, uh, game version and just assign a single list that's a t so what i'll do i'll just write one another variable and perform the list comprehensive on this this list so take another variable x for x in t if x dot is starts starts with all right if it is going to start with any the particular name then we can have the particular value and if it is not going to start with particular value we are going to uh, perform that value all right so it's going to use it starts with and then we are going to use that value g so it's going to start with g value okay then we are having that value all right i'm going to print that by so you can see i'm obtaining all the all the elements only those are starting with g gangs of wasepur and the ganga these two movie names are only there existing those are starting so instead of x i can use title itself so title and then title start with and for x t i t l e right check it so for for x in t t i okay t i t l e so these 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 variables are should be same like this one is the first iterative variable second is it uh, i mean so the iterator for each element and then we are going to perform this condition over here so if title dot starts with with any element then we will have this element suppose i am going to change capital a so it will give avatar only so i am going to change this y so obviously it's giving avatar all right suppose i am going to change this value with the particular name particular year in which they are released the movie name which is released in particular year so i am going to include that movie name here so let's say gangs of wasafor is released in 2019 gangs karma is released in 2020 and ganga is released let's say 2015 and avatar is re released in let's say 2009 and jal is going to release 2022 and so on i'm going to run that code that's it no error so i'm going to copy this code again curd c and then p yes yes okay hmm okay sure okay 